Hi guys, it's Mr. Seward, your favorite PLTW and Engineering CAD and whatever else they'd like me to teach teacher. Anyways, uh, today we're going to do an assembly of the crayon bank and I wanted to point something out to you. I uh, noticed this this past week as you were turning in these individual parts. Uh, some of you sent me one link which meant that your bank looks like this uh, down here where I have multiple tabs. I have the top part, I have the tube part, and I have the black bands part. Some of you sent me three links and uh, what that means is, is that you had missed in the crayon tube drawing uh, video where I said to you that you need to come down to right here where it says plus and click on that and say create part studio and that that would give you a, a new tab. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, it's right here on me, okay? And then you were supposed to right click and rename it. Uh, actually, I'm going to delete it so that I don't have it on here confusing anything. Uh, that was one minute into the crayon tube drawing uh, part of this uh, project. Uh, to do an assembly, you, uh, as far as I can figure out, need to have all three of these parts on the same project, I guess is the best way to put it. So if you haven't done that, you're going to need to, uh, and the best I can figure out is redraw the parts on to the uh, same three, you know, onto the same project so that you have them on the same uh, uh all the tabs down here across the bottom the same so on with that once you have them all set up like I do right here you have what's called an assembly drawing you'll see assembly one I'm just gonna click on that and the very first thing I need to do is I need to go up here to where it says insert and it's gonna give me a list of all three of the parts that are in this assembly uh, if you didn't do this the way that I'm describing right now, uh, this stuff won't pop up right here, I don't believe. I tried to find different ways to import things into the drawings. Uh, I just couldn't do it. Uh, so I'm going to let you either A, figure that out, or B, uh, just recreate them. They're, they're pretty simple parts. I don't think they'll take you too long to recreate them. I would start with the crayon bank tube if I as my default base part, I guess. All right. So I'm with this. So I'm inserting and I'm going to put in the bank tube first. And you can just put this anywhere you'd like here on the screen. I'm going to green check mark. Now an important thing to do, see I can take this thing and I can move it anywhere I want, is we've got to put it in place and lock it in. Uh, so I'm going to right click on this uh, tube and here's the word fix right here. Now when I click and hold on this, I can't move this thing anywhere. Now, I'm going to use the insert tool again, and I'm going to put in my top part, and I'll just drop that somewhere in the neighborhood, and I'll green check mark this. And let's zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so uh, there's multiple insert tools up here that you can experiment with. Uh, the one that is my favorite insert tool, and perhaps of all the softwares I've ever used, this might be my, my most favored so far, because uh, what this does is this locks a part in place when you use it. So I'm going to click on this uh, insert tool right here, and this is called Fasten Mate, and I'll zoom in on the top of my crayon bank, and I've got my cursor right in between the two lip, the two edges here on the lip. I'm going to click on that. Okay, so I got that. Now I'll zoom back out and I'm going to use my uh, right click here and just kind of uh, rotate this around. And uh, right here I have, this is the, the uh, edge of the part that's going inside the tube. And then where that face meets the uh, lip right here I'm going to click on that and I'm not sure exactly why it's doing this I'm just going to hit the word solve here and green check mark and then I'll red X this and I'll double click well I'll right click and say isometric and now this part is locked in place 
Now I'm going to rotate this around, and uh, now I can see the I can see the slot in here. Next thing to do is to insert the bands. So I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to select the band. I'll put one up here, and I'll put one down here just so that they're easier to to have uh, you know near the part in the general area. Again, I'm going to use this fastened mate thing and I'll zoom in here on the top of this part and uh, do the best I can to click that shelf if you can't get it this is the inside of the part I know it's kind of hard to see it's that inside lip and uh, again I'll rotate this around so that I'm looking at the bottom of this thing and this is where everything gets a little little kind of touchy this is where the uh, the indent from the band uh, location meets the top surface so I'm gonna click on that and I'll hit the green check mark again let's see what that looks like right click isometric and did I get that right let's see nope exactly wrong so uh, I'm going to use the undo command here. Okay, right click, isometric. I'll spin this guy around. Okay, let's try again. Fasten mate. You might have to play with this one a little bit just to get it fixed in place. There we go. I got that one. And I'll do this bottom one. Uh, let's see. I'll do the outside of there to the inside of there. I'll green check mark that. And it looks like it worked. Okay. So, uh, again, you're going to use that link tool to send this to me. Uh, one thing you can do down here is right click and rename this. You can rename this Cray on Bank Assy. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so uh, here we go. You're going to share this, right? You go up to share. You come down here to link sharing. You can turn on link sharing if you need to. And then you copy this to the clipboard and uh, add it to your Google Doc. And I will get the link and be able to go really quick and easy and grade it. All right. Thank you.